HP has launched a campaign. They're cracking down on illegal street racing. Yeah, they're also concerned that the release of the new Fast and Furious film this weekend could further drive up this dangerous trend. Alina Bovian is live in Beverly Grove with more details. Hi, Alina. Hi, ladies. Good morning. You know, it's pretty difficult to go head to head with the marketing of the movie for the latest Fast and the Furious, but the CHP, along with several other agencies, they really are putting a big push to get this message out there. Just take a look behind me. You can see this big sign hanging right here over Melrose Avenue. It says street racing and sideshows, thrills that kill, and that was the general message from today's press conference. Now, you also see this blue Lamborghini here. It is completely wrecked, and it's just another way of showing the public the dangers behind street racing and street takeovers. According to the CHP, the number of street shows has quadrupled since 2015. They are dangerous, they are deadly, and one of the most powerful speakers during this press conference, a mother of a 16-year-old victim, she put it all into perspective. I read the report over and over and over, thinking what did I do wrong as a mom? Oh, what did she do wrong as a teenager, 16 years old? She died in the middle of the night in a cold asphalt without me being there for her when she took her last breath. Lily Trujillo Puckett is the founder of Street Racing Kills. Her 16-year-old daughter was a passenger when she died during a street race several years ago. Law enforcement here in L.A. responds to a street takeover several times a week, sometimes multiple times in one night over the weekend. But trying to break one up is extremely difficult, so the purpose of today's presser is to educate the public and hopefully get ahead of the problem. California Assemblymember Vince Fong also speaking today. He says he helped secure $5.5 million to fund this campaign and also to give law enforcement the tools to tackle this growing problem in a meaningful way. Moving forward, there will be a multi-agency task force, including LAPD and the Sheriff's Department. Chief Michael Moore saying today the timing of this campaign is critical, especially with the release of Fast X, the latest Fast and the Furious movie, which feeds into the culture of street racing and street takeovers. The popularity of movies such as the Fast and Furious series and their upcoming latest release, we believe is likely to influence copycats because of the movies glamorizing this very dangerous activity. Movies like this are fantasies. People may not believe this, but people look and watch these movies and they somehow believe that they can go out and copycat and do these activities and that they'll be safe. Now, we also heard from L.A. County Sheriff Robert Luna about the legal consequences if you are involved in a street race or even if you're just standing on the street watching. And we'll talk more about that coming up at noon. I'm Lena Bovin reporting live here in Beverly Grove. We'll send it back to you.